What up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Vaporwood. Kennard here, and today we're taking a look at a new line of e-liquids from Mr. E-Liquid. Let's take a look at Reverb. All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Vaporwood. Pleasure to be with you today, taking a look at this new line of e-liquids from Mr. E-Liquid. This is the Reverb line. They sent me their six new flavors. Came in this fancy package. It's got all the flavor descriptions on the back. So big shout out to Mr. E-Liquid for sending this out for review. As you guys saw, there are six flavors, so that's a lot of taste testing to do. So you know how we do it over here at Vaporwood. First off, first and foremost, let's talk about bottling and presentation. All right, so here we are up close checking out the bottling and presentation for the Reverb E-Liquid line by Mr. E-Liquid. I'm just going to show you one bottle. Each label is a little bit different in color depending on the flavor and the name, but the label setup is the same, so we'll just show you the one bottle. Reverb comes in 30 mil glass bottles. It comes in 0, 1.5, 3, 6, and 12 milligram nicotine strengths. You can see front and center their logo says Reverb, the name of the line. Underneath that, it says the name of the flavor, and I do like the design. It's pretty simple. It's their own logo. Definitely not marketing to kids. On the right-hand side of the label, this is really neat. I like this. They have their flavor descriptions, so you never have to wonder, or when somebody asks you about it, you can go ahead and read the flavor description right to them off of the bottle. Also, on the left-hand side of the bottle, they have the lot code expiration date, uh, their website, they have their ingredients list, all their contact information, and at the bottom they have their nicotine warning, which is a must. They also have a nut warning on here for people who are allergic to nuts. May contain trace amount of nuts. Do not ingest. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the bottling and presentation. Let's go back out and start tasting these flavors. All right, guys, well, there you have it bottling and presentation definitely gets the two thumbs up in my book they got the child proof tops they got their nicotine warnings they got everything on there and as a bonus they have the flavor descriptions right on the bottle so that's pretty cool all right let's move right on into the tasting shall we and the first flavor we're looking at today is four on the floor the flavor description is a sweet red raspberry white chocolate truffle a bright raspberry top note and subtle yet delectable undertones creates beautiful depth and character with a robust white chocolate finish. I can definitely smell the raspberries when I smell it. Cheers. Alright, pour on the floor. You definitely get that red raspberry. It is a sweet raspberry. It's very, it's very strong. It's a very strong raspberry. It's almost perfumey. Um, the first day I got this, it was very perfumey. I had to, I left the cap off for a few hours, and then I let it steep, and it mellowed out quite a bit. I'm not really picking up that white chocolate truffle at all. Um, the raspberry is just overpowering for me, and all I get is raspberry in this one. So sorry, four on the floor, guys. Not for me. All right, the second flavor I had to show you is called Dark Cabaret. The flavor description for Dark Cabaret reads as follows luxurious dark chocolate blended with a lightly roasted almond suggesting a salty sensation dark cabaret finishes with a splash of sweet tart blueberries creating a complex and decadent flavor profile sounds awesome guys let's check it out cheers yeah that's not too bad folks i dig that one quite a bit I was kind of worried because I don't like dark chocolate at all. Um, I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. It's a little too bitter for me. But in this liquid, I'm not really, I don't really get the chocolate by itself. I'm tasting the nuts and I'm tasting the blueberry. And the, the chocolate, I think, just kind of thickens up that almond. It enriches that almond flavor. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. This one gets the two thumbs up. Dark Cabaret, two thumbs up. All right, and the next flavor I have for you today is called Dropsicle. Dropsicle is a delicious blend of lemon, peach, and raspberry. The top note of sweet and tart lemon soars through the palate, while the peach and raspberry provide weight to the flavor profile, enticing a smooth, sweet, creamy finish. Sounds delicious. It smells really, really good. I smell a lot of lemon. Cheers. 
All right, yeah, definitely get that lemon. I get that peach. It's a really good blend. For me, the raspberry is just throwing it off, though. I think if they revised this recipe, took that raspberry out and just did the lemon and the peach, I think it would be fantastic, top-notch. But for me, the raspberry is killing it, making it a little perfumey. It's not bad. It could be really good on a summer day, on a nice hot day. This could be a really good vape. So I'm going to give... I'm going to give Dropsicle the one thumb up. All right, guys, the next flavor I have for you is called Psycho Billy. Psycho Billy's flavor description reads, Reminiscent of a classic morning cereal, Psycho Billy blends cherry, lemon, lime, orange, and grape. Then we pour in some milk, creating the ultimate breakfast vape. Psycho Billy is so good, you will be playing it on loop. So if that doesn't tell you anything, um, it's, a, it's a Fruit Loops vape. It's a cereal vape, Fruit Loops cereal. Yeah, there's definitely a Fruit Loops vape just from smelling it, I can tell. Um, it doesn't smell like floor cleaner, so that's a plus. Let's find out, shall we? Cheers. All right, yeah, definitely Fruit Loops vape all day long. I get all the different fruits. I don't really taste the grape, but I get all the citrus fruits in there, the, the lemon, the lime, the orange. Um, kind of taste the cherry, it just kind of blends in there and rounds out those flavors. I am getting a creaminess to it, not necessarily am I tasting milk, but I am getting a creaminess to it. So it's very nice, very nice Fruit Loops vape. That one definitely gets two thumbs up. Alright, the next flavor we have is called Trance. Trance is a crisp blend of apples paired with artisanal bakery cinnamon. A succulent crust and a hint of homegrown liquor yields an accurate apple pie moonshine perfect for any occasion. So this ought to be different. I've never had uh, a moonshine vape before. I have had homemade apple moonshine and that was pretty tasty. So I'm excited for this one. I have grown to like apple vapes recently. Cheers. All right guys, I'm definitely getting the apples. It's a nice ripe red apple. Um, I don't get much cinnamon. And I'm not really getting the crust at all. I do taste some of that that kind of liquory type aftertaste on it. I don't know. This one really isn't for me either. It's all right. It's it's not bad, but it's um, I don't think they quite nailed this one down yet. We'll just go ahead and we'll give this one a one thumb up. All right, guys. And the last flavor I have for you, my personal favorite flavor of the line. This is Dubtronica. Dubtronica's flavor description reads, starting with a blend of several different vanillas and finishing with a doughy, creamy texture, Dubtronica just gets better with age. Balanced on the palate, Dubtronica boasts a flavor profile that is just sweet enough to enjoy all day long. That sounds pretty good. And they're not lying when it gets better with age. Um, when I first got this and tried the flavor, I was not a fan at all. Um, it was a little harsh. I was not a huge fan. But after steeping it for, I don't know, it was, it was close to a week. I put it in my steep box for about a week and got it back out. Everything smoothed out and rounded out. This is a damn good flavor. Um, like it says, it's a couple different vanillas and it's got some kind of dough in there. Some doughy bakery type note. It's really good, guys. But here we go. Cheers. All right, I already gave you the flavor description before I vaped it, but it definitely gets the two thumbs up. It's just vanilla and doughy. It's some kind of sweet bakery. If you're into bakery vapes, you're going to dig this Dubtronica. All right, we've talked about all the flavors. Let's talk about where you can find this at and how much it costs. You can find the Reverb e-liquids on MrElequid.com. The information will be somewhere on the screen. There will also be a link down in the description down below. You can go click it. Go check out the Reverb e-liquid line for yourself. Um, the e-liquid line comes in 30 mil bottles and it's $17.99. So 18 bucks a bottle, eh, that's a little pricey for me. Um, and considering that I, I really only enjoyed like three out of the six flavors, so I guess it's not bad. You know, that's that's half half of the line that I enjoy. Um, but I don't really think it's $17.99. I, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I think it's a bit overpriced. Um, I just have to be honest, you know, I'm honest in all my reviews, tell you exactly what I think and how I feel. I think $17.99 is a bit much for this e-liquid. Three of the flavors are good. The Dubtronica is definitely worth checking out. 
Psycho Billy's a good Fruit Loops vape. And the Dark Cabaret is really good. The Dark Chocolate and uh, the Dark Chocolate and Almond is really good. So those are the three flavors I recommend. Once again, you know, uh, $17.99 for these e-liquids. Like I said, I think it's overpriced. But if you want to go check them out, the link is down in the description, MrElIquid.com, Reverb e-liquids. You can go check them out if you want to. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I want to thank you for tuning in, watching another episode of Vaporwood, checking out this review of Reverb e-liquids by Mr. E-Liquid. Like I said, all the links will be down in the description down below. If you like what you saw today, be sure to hit that thumbs up or give it a like down below. And also, you can click this little button over here somewhere. It says Vaporwood. You get subscribed up and stay up to date with the videos and the giveaways as I post them. And if you like social networking, definitely check out myvaporium.net. It's a social network made for and by vapors. We've got live Google Hangouts, DIY recipe section, you know, all the hand checks you can shake a stick at, as I've said before. Definitely go check out myvaporium.net. It's a pretty cool place filled with a bunch of good people. Come check out what you've been missing. And as always, guys, keep chasing those clouds, my friends. Live long and vapor.